Jeffrey Simmons had a breakout season in 2021. He had 14 sacks and 66 pressures, and he cemented himself as a top five defensive tackle in the NFL. The only defensive linemen with 60 pressures and 30 run stops last year were Jeffrey Simmons, Aaron Donald, and Cam Hayward, which is pretty good company. He has one of the most dominant bull rushes in the NFL. If he's one-on-one -on -one with a below average guard, he can move them as far back as he wants to. Obviously strength and long arms help him with that, but he also has an incredibly explosive first step and he can really just catch guys off balance. There's a lot of defensive tackles that have great bull rushes that can get 30 to 40 pressures a year just off of that, but most of the elite three techniques in the NFL also have a finesse element to their game, and that's what was missing from his 2020 film and why I said that he still had significant improvements to make as a pass rusher. And in 2021, Jeffrey Simmons had an expanded move set. He did a much better job having a pass rush plan and setting moves up instead of just throwing stuff at the wall and hoping that his athleticism can win out, which is what most young defensive linemen do as they polish their technique. One of his signature combo moves is the stutter swipe swim. Here he is using it against Quentin Nelson. He's gonna stutter and widen his body, giving Quentin Nelson what he thinks is an open body to punch, but Simmons is actually loading up for an explosive sidestep. He swipes the outside arm and then takes advantage of Quentin Nelson being off balance and finishes with a swim move. The swim move is a great counter to an offensive lineman that has low pad level. Even though Quentin Nelson is six foot five, his stance is really compact. So Jeffrey Simmons can take advantage of that with the swim move. But then against Hakeem Adeniji, who is a former offensive tackle that plays with terrible pad level, Simmons uses the stutter swipe rip to get underneath him. The bull rush is his staple pass rush move, as it is with most offensive linemen, but last season Jeffrey Simmons did a great job of adding counters and changeups to the bull rush. On this play, Bills guard John Feliciano sells out to stop Jeffrey Simmons' bull rush and leans almost at a 45 degree angle, which would help stop him getting moved backwards, but Simmons does what I call cutting the anchor and takes advantage of how far forward he's leaning and just throws him face first on the ground. When you look at stuff like PFF grades and pass rush win rate, Jeffrey Simmons grades lower than you would expect based on his raw stats. And that's based on a few things. Uh, first of all, he ranked fourth in snaps last season and fifth in 2020, which is great because it means he stays healthy and he can play in every personnel package but any metric that's on a per snap basis is gonna be affected by that. And then the Titans also ran a lot of stunts, which are considered less difficult situations. And so if you get a sack off of a stunt, you're gonna get less credit for that in PFF system, I believe. Um, I would like to see John Robinson start to prioritize the backup three technique as a draftable position so that Jeffrey Simmons has to play fewer snaps. Instead of playing close to a thousand snaps per season, I'd like him to be around the 800 mark just for the longevity of his career because I don't really think it's sustainable for Simmons and Harold Landry to be playing that many snaps, even though it's great that they can stay healthy. The good news is that Jeffrey Simmons still has a lot of room to develop when it comes to pass rushing consistency, and I expect him to get pretty close to his ceiling over the next couple years, given his work ethic and the trajectory of his development so far in his career.